the Buddhist monk John Lori, L-O-O-R-I, he has this wonderful phrase, if you miss the moment, comma, pause, you miss your life. Do you feel the exhortation behind that? It's not just, well, if I'm alert and if I have a second. No, it's not a luxury. This is your life. And that's what that image means to us. So the, the original Greek was kairos de, D-E. D -E. And originally it meant seize the moment. Later the Romans take it and they say carpe diem, seize the day. Which is great, especially in the movie when Robin Williams, remember Dead Poets Society? He gives that whole talk about you young punks, you've got to seize the day. I love that, but the Greek notion is much more nuanced. And I recommend that you be alert for that when you're here. You've come a long way, you've spent some money, you probably had to do some negotiations at home. Honey, I'll be back in 10 days, whatever that negotiation might mean. But there is a little pressure, but it's a good pressure, like the pressure that make, turns coal into diamonds, for God's sakes, that can turn some of these moments into diamonds, into gold. I had just a, a, a very simple one. Yesterday when I was, I left here and I was going past the, walking past the cathedral, sauntering past the cathedral, just as the young choir from America was coming out. You know, there there's a choir here from the Midwest that were singing at Vespers yesterday. And as I was striding past, <laughs> I saw them pouring out of the cathedral, a, a cataract of choir singers. <laughs> How's that? And I looked over and there were three young women who were in super slow motion like an old detergent commercial from the <laughs> 1960s, They're like this. And one turns to the other and says, I can't believe how much I love singing in this cathedral. It's so much better than singing at church back home. <laughs> and I felt some of the kefi, remember we use the word kefi, K-E-F-I, the Cretan word for a sudden unexpected outburst of joy. That, I will see a lot that's magnificent traditionally in terms of the architecture and the stained glass, but that's my moment so far, to see this unbridled joy. It's so, sometimes the epiphanies are on the side of simplicity, not, not great, great profundity. I saw an entire universe open in that one moment with those young women. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm, I'm seeing them pouring out, and I'm thinking about the pilgrims that were there 100 years ago and then 200 years ago, and then 300 years ago. That's when you go into, remember the phrase I used yesterday, la durée, that the French way of looking at this, it was Henri Bergson, if you know the phenomenologist, he was saying, if you have the time, the alertness, the care, if you have the heart to do it, you can stretch these moments, right? So I see one moment of, of sheer joy, but there's that other part of me that says, I wonder if, it, if that's what people felt when they were here 700 years ago. What about 1100 years ago when the cathedral was unveiled? You see what I'm doing? I'm doing a little time travel and I'm going in there, I'm dilating the moment. That's when the universe opens up for us.